Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, it's part number two of a two-part series of car cleaning kits. So episode number one was for the exterior car washing, so for regular maintenance washes. And today we're talking about the interior of the vehicle. So behind me, I have an assortment of tools, products, and equipment to do the right job. So we're simplifying everything. I basically catered a selection of all that stuff for you guys to check out. By the way, I'll leave links to all these tools, products, and equipment in the description description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're diving right into it right now. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it rapid style. So boom, boom, let's go. All right, quick disclaimer, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions. And this is one of the biggest car detailing channels in the world on YouTube. Thanks to you guys, my viewers. You really loved part one, again, for the exterior washing of your car. So go check that out after this video. I'll drop the link to that video too in the description under this one. So behind me, what I have is some things that I'm gonna share with you to do the right job. So this is not a full cleaning and restoring kind of video. This is more for your regular washes. So well, I wash my car twice weekly. Uh, you might wash your car uh, once or twice a month regardless. Uh, this is more for the maintenance type. So for the quick cleanings, both of outside and inside to keep our cars looking awesome. So this is not a full-blown protection or full-blown degreasing or a messy type video cleanup, right? What we're doing here again is for car detailing passionate people. So enthusiasts, weekend warriors, even professionals out there that just want to keep their vehicle looking cleaner for longer. So first order of business when we're detailing vehicles is to have nitrile gloves. Wear PPE, of course, if you can, if you want to wear some um, glasses, that kind of stuff, work in a well-ventilated space. If you're working outside, work in the shade on a cool surface, either early on in the day or very late in the afternoon. That's just going to augment your experience and have a better overall detailing experience. So to keep our hands protected when we're dealing with chemicals, I like to wear nitrile gloves. And by the way, for the product selection, I picked a few here, but of course, uh, to keep the video short and simple, I couldn't go through all the possible brands and products that exist around the world. It would make for a never ending video. And by the way, I have my 2021 Car Detailing Products Awards video where I pick my top three products for every category. So feel free to check that out. And you can also substitute the products that I'm talking about for some that you prefer or brands that you prefer. I'm fine with that. As long as we enjoy the process of cleaning our cars and that we're doing something, I'm all for it. So the uh, first product is usually an all purpose cleaner. So this is more for the hard surfaces, your plastics right inside your vehicle, your trim and that kind of stuff. So one that I like is Koch Kemi or Kosh Kemi. This is Green Star. It can be diluted many ways, but for the uh, interior surfaces, because we're talking here just regular maintenance, you can dilute it heavy, medium or light duty. For light duty purposes, it's a one in 20 dilution. So one part of product to 20 parts of water. When you're diluting your products, try and use distilled water or demineralized water. The better the, wall, the water quality, the longer the product's going to last and the better it's going to perform because it's not going to fight with all the minerals that are in the water. So Green Star, great all-purpose cleaner for the hard surfaces. A lot of people like to use it on uh, more soft surfaces as well, but we'll have another product more dedicated for that because keep in mind, this is a pH of 12 and a half, so it's an alkaline cleaner. It helps to degrease stuff, so it can be harsh sometimes for some softer or more fragile materials. So use this on your hard plastics, the dashboard, that kind of stuff. So uh, this is one of them. Again, from Koch Kemi, this one is Polestar. This is a pH neutral, and this is more of a fabric cleaner textile cleaner, upholstery, and even Alcantara. You can use this on leather as well. So it's more for the uh, supple or soft surfaces and more delicate surfaces because it's pH neutral. So the uh, dilution again, because always in the back, read the instructions guys of the products you're using. Uh, there is medium duty, heavy duty, but again, because we're doing uh, regular maintenance. This light duty dilution is one parts of product to 20 parts of water, one in 20 dilution for light use. And again, this works great. So you have the combo of the all-purpose cleaner for the hard surfaces and you have Polestar for the softer surfaces like your vinyls, your leathers, your even your Alcantara, right? Alcantara is the reverse part of leather. So it's that uh, it looks kind of a light microfiber thing or very plush kind of thing. So you want to be gentle, by the way, when you're cleaning Alcantara. I don't recommend spraying liquids on top of it directly. You would spray on a brush or on a microfiber towel and gently agitate the area. You can suck that dry with a shop vac or a vacuum. Be very careful. 
and uh, you want to leave it dry at the end and then you can have a brush which I'm going to talk about to uh, bring the fibers back up again and have that fresh factory look for the Alcantara. Uh, by the way Alcantara is the brand right like Kleenex the actual term is micro suede so micro suede Alcantara makes the micro suede. When you're diluting products of course you're going to need a bottle uh, a sprayer and a, a sprayer and a bottle so the one I like that I featured recently in a video for my best uh, sprayers and trigger sprayers and all that kind of stuff is Carpro Dilute. It's inexpensive, it's well made and also on the side it's because it has a dilution chart that makes everything easy. So you pick your dilution, for example this one here, uh, 1 and 2. So you would start by filling with water up to the 1 and 2 line and then fill the rest up to the fill line with your product. You shake and there you go, your dilution is done. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. But uh, yeah, have a proper sprayer for your dilutions. For the interior, uh, again in last video we had for the exterior, there's a lot of products that we're going to reuse for the interior. So there's a lot of stuff that you buy it once and you're going to be able to use for multiple uses years down the line. So one of them is a rinseless wash. This one here, the McKees 37N914, you can have the Optimum Polymer Technologies ONR. There's a bunch of good rinseless washes out there. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, so a little goes a long way. Half an ounce for a gallon of water or some dilutions for the interior. You can go up to an ounce for a gallon. Uh, on the side, they have different recommendations if you're using a rinseless wash, waterless wash, clay lubricant, paint prep, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can use this to clean glass. It can be used as a quick detail spray to wipe the interior quickly. It's going to help and encapsulate and remove that dirt. So this one here, a little goes a long way and you can have different dilutions for different uses. So I like to have products that can have different uh, uses because, uh, well, you're going to save on money, right? If that's important to you, you can go ahead and do that. If you want uh, interior light cleaners, some add protection uh, or some top off the protections, I should say, because today we're not focusing on applying the initial protection. You should have stuff like CarPro Pearl diluted 5 to 1 for the interior. Uh, there's 303 Aerospace Protectant. Basically, all those products that give a heavier UV protection and longer term durability. We're focusing today on the maintenance washes, so the regular cleanings. So one that I like for regular cleanings is Gion Interior Detailer. So this one here, contrary to what some think, I reached out to the company and asked. There is no UV protection in there, so there's no protection. This is just a light cleaner. So it removes smudges. It's good on infotainment displays. You can clean the glass as well with this. Uh, you can clean leather. You can even clean your Alcantara. Uh, it just does an awesome job. So a glass, leather, plastics, infotainment displays. It's not going to leave any smudges. It flashes off quickly, so you're going to see that. That's one thing I like. So a microfiber towel in this, a little goes a long way, and it's a very versatile one. It's going to help to lightly disinfect, although this is not its main thing, but also lightly refresh and disinfect the interior. So this is a very good one. Uh, another good interior detailer, so something that has anti-static properties to reduce the amount of dusting, that has microband technology to reduce also the germs, the microbes, and all that kind of stuff inside your vehicle, that has great scents. This one here is Sweet Almond Scent, but there's many different ones available. It's going to add UV protection, and you can use this on uh, your leather, your vinyl, your infotainment displays, your plastics, pretty much all the interior surfaces. This is a classic Adams Polishes Interior Detailer. So it works quite well. I had it in a comparative matchup against another one that I like, uh, the Inner Space from Lithium, uh, and they were both very, very good. My brother really liked the way uh, this one smells too, so they both did great, but this is inexpensive and it does pretty much the work you need on any surface. So again, leather, vinyl, plastics, you name it, infotainment, it pretty much does the entire duties plus anti-static properties, which a lot of you guys like. Another liquid that's very important that we also had for the exterior is a glass cleaner. Always use an automotive glass cleaner. This one here is Gion Glass. So a very good one. Helps to remove that grime, that oily stuff, all that crud that's on the glass. And it's ammonia free, so it's safe on tint and film. And by the way, the tints are on the inside part of the vehicle. And a lot of people think that sometimes it's outside, the tint is on the inside part. So this one here, regardless, is ammonia free, so it's safe on tinted glass as well. Just does a great job. Okay, now for a few brushes that you're going to need. On the interior surfaces, I usually like to do some dusting before I clean. So my, one of my favorite ones is the Detail Factory Soft Brush. This one here is like a makeup brush that your girlfriends might have. I mean, it's just super plush and very delicate. So if you have those lacquered piano black plastics, so the piano black finish that's very glossy on the inside, this is perfect to dust that or going inside air vents, that kind of thing, or harder to reach areas. They make different sizes, different colors. It is just absolutely awesome. So you absolutely absolutely need these, these synthetic soft brushes with the softest possible materials so you don't scratch anything. 
Uh, if you need a bit more cleaning power, they also make some boar hair versions. So some natural hair, but a bit stiffer. So it has a bit more cleaning power if you're agitating a leather cleaner, for example, or you want to scrub some of that product on your door cards, dash, that kind of thing. You might want one with boar hair. Again, different sizes available, different colors. Uh, next, for your leather and your vinyl surfaces and even your Alcantara, I highly recommend a good quality leather brush like these leather experts from the Color Lock. So uh, good for leather, textile as well if you have fabric seats or upholstery and Alcantara. It has these bristle brushes that are stiff enough yet gentle enough to not damage anything and they're good to uh, make that uh, micro suede or Alcantara stand up again, those fibers, and make them look factory fresh and plush. And it just does a great job at cleaning leather. So the combination of your leather cleaner and this will be of an awesome way to, to get everything clean. For your carpets, your fabric carpets and your upholstery, if you want something dedicated, you have something like this, which is a textile or fabric brush. So a, a bigger surface to do uh, more work more quickly. There's different styles that you guys can have, but this is one that I really like that you would use with a uh, carpet cleaner or a fabric and uh, textile cleaner, that kind of stuff. And don't forget, we had Polestar right at the beginning that does that kind of a job on these soft surfaces, including textiles. So uh, many products that are used for many things. If you have uh, stuff that's really encrusted deep in your carpets and you want more agitation to help lift some of that dirt and debris off, I recommend a drill brush attachment now this one here is the light version in white. You can have a yellow that has stiffer bristles if you have even thicker crud. But basically this goes on just your regular cordless drill, right? That you'd have to drill stuff. You put this on there and it just spins and it's gonna do very, very quick work of cleaning your stuff. So uh, yeah, drill brush attachment for your carpets. It works super well. Next, if you have some pets, especially dogs or cats, and they leave a ton of dog hair, uh, there's two things that I really like. One that's inexpensive is the Lily brush. So this one here, I have a full video on. If you look for uh, pet hair removal tutorial on my channel, you'll see it. It has these flexible rubberized tips. And basically it's like a credit card, right? Very, very slim. And you can bring this with you and keep it in your car even if you want. So you have this on your carpet and you just brush all those hairs up and then you just vacuum and you're good to go. This is very efficient. So the Lily Brush Pet Hair Brush. And another innovation by um, Buff Bright, which had the uh, polishing uh, polisher lights, so lights you would add on top of your machine polisher. They created what they call the Fur Eel or Fur Eel. So look at this, let me focus here, there we go. So you see that fur eel? So basically it's an attachment that you put on top of your vacuum. So you'd have your vacuum hose here and these bristles are kind of like this rubberized material and it helps to lift and encapsulate those uh, hairs from your, your pets and they get sucked in directly. So they come with different adapters, quite inexpensive and it just works super well. By the way, if you've tried this, let me know in the comment section under the video. Uh, next, you're gonna need some microfiber towels, right? Obviously. So you can have a lot of them. I prefer for inside the car, if you're doing cleaning duties, some um, uh, lighter GSM ones like these Edgeless 300 by the Rag Company. They come in different colors. This is typically 16 by 16 is the size I like. So very short nap and very gentle. It's edgeless, so it's not gonna scratch or damage anything. So you just get a bunch of microfiber towels. They're the staple of any detailer's arsenal, right? You need to microfiber towels for everything. Uh, next, we're gonna have some dedicated for glass. So again, we're uh, having the same one as we had for the exterior that we're recuperating again. So this is a waffle weave glass towel by the Rag Company, 16 by 16, with this butter soft suede edge. And why waffle weave? Because look at this. It, they look like waffles. I have a glass cleaning tutorial that was super popular recently on my channel. Check that out, by the way. Uh, but this I love. You can have this for wipe. I usually have two towels to clean glass. The other one, one's two from the Rag Company. This is their premium glass towel. So this one here is more like corduroy style. So if we look here, it's a tighter weave. But both glass towels, why we like them is because they're not going to shed. They're not going to have any lint. They're going to be streak free. They're not going to leave any residue on your glass. So have some dedicated glass towels, shorter nap, uh, lower pile as well, and they don't shed or lint. That is key. And another quick tool that you can have is this uh, quick clean and reach tool by Invisible Glass. So it is this wedge shape so you can get in the corner 
of your windshield. So a lot of people, they have that harder time to reach right in the cracks and the harder intricate areas or in the lower portions of the windshield. So this one here is made for that, comes with a microfiber head. You would spray your liquid on there, your glass cleaner, and then you go right into the corners of what you're doing, like here in the corner of the screen, and then you're just scrubbing and it tilts like this so you can contour to the edges. So this is just a great tool to have if you wanna have a bonus. Uh, another piece of equipment that is super important is to have a vacuum. So I personally have a four gallon, five horsepower rigid vacuum, which I like. So it's a wet and dry vac. Uh, I have it with the uh, deluxe car detailing kit as well. So it's an extra kit that you can purchase. It just works very well, super powerful. It's the 4070 model. Uh, they also have a newer model, I think. Anyways, I'll link those in the description under the video. But another popular one that was featured in Vacuum Wars, a channel that basically tests a lot of vacuums, he loved the rigid and he also loved uh, one from VacMaster. So the VacMaster Professional, that one was five and a half horsepower, five gallon. Uh, they're under a hundred bucks, right? Both of them. Uh, you can usually find the rigid in Home Depot and even your local hardware stores, uh, but the uh, VacMaster Professional is another very good one. So get a wet and dry vac because they're good for both purposes and there's a lot of stuff that you can do with them, but to basically help to pick up all the junk, the dirt, the debris, the dust that's inside your car, you absolutely need those. So uh, guys, again, I'll uh, leave all the links to these tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video. Smash the thumbs up button uh, to show me your support. Share this video with your friends and family. And of course, stay tuned for more awesome content. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. And uh, yeah, so keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you guys on the next one.